tied hunter. You may now. You don't lose the career, for example, to a misery. Roll yep, we saw out. right there where, where they were sending it. Oh, the toss comes in actually, and now Dragonite gonna take some good pressure coming out. See, see, and see, he's feeling it. This is gonna be first blood in favor. Limp getting credit for it. What a chuck there. Up, and if he doesn't get the bottle up on time, it's just gonna. It's it's sort of like a, a deviled cycle of just not getting farm at all, right? Uh, and he already has the boots queued up as well in case he doesn't get the bottle. I'm sure he'll just get the boots. Like if he dies again, he'll probably just insta buy the boots before he dies. Well, we gotta talk about these other lanes too, because mid lane, as entertaining as it is, already first blood happening. Top lane, Chessy the doppelganger, not only jukes the stun attempt from Slaughter. Obviously, there are bounty runes still to pick up, but if you do, if you do deny the runes, you have potential to kill this tiny. Lane. They do. Oh. oh, Tiny is in trouble right now. The Avalanche did hit Slark initially, or Slaughter even, but it's not enough to save himself. The Dragon Tail comes out from some with four heroes, so they should be able to kill him. It's, he's not level 6 yet. If he was level 6, I'd say he probably escapes, but just because he isn't yet, he's probably dead. Here we go. Here's the four-man gank on the raid boss. Moo, taking the damage, has a TP. Can he TP now? Nah, he's not feeling comfortable about it. Yeah, they had the crush still, so no way he was getting out. And he will end up dying in the end, so the four- in the lane, which... You know, 30 last hits isn't bad by any means, but it's also not great either, so... I don't know, this thing's hitching again. It's, it's working into complexity's favor, especially now with that kill into the Batrider. They can still easily come back into this game with the Dragon Knight as well, taking objectives, so... As long as they stay focused... Oh, and maybe not give away kills? Oh, PPD in trouble right here. He has a crush coming out from Misery, though, so not only gonna stop them, but maybe try to set up a turn. Dragonite is running in. Limpy chucks him in and gets the kill, though, onto Lich. He's like, thank you for standing nearby me. Team charges on his wand, so he could actually set up a combo here. He finds the, the chance to. They might just be baiting him, yeah. There you go. They're gonna go in. Silencer here as well. There goes the silence from the last word. The Arcane's Curse comes up, and that's a kill. Maybe not. Oh my god, he's gonna live. Magic wall on the bottle. Charges CC and C is not gonna survive in the end though. But at what cost now for the Radiant sign? In comes Zai. Misery with a crush to finish off Io. And now Kyle. He's gonna lead him the other direction. It's limp. Limp lands a two-man avalanche though. He has that's a courier coming actually. He tosses misery in the air. And now Kyle with the Arcane's curse looking to turn on to misery. Limp, another toss in two more seconds. Here comes Phantom Lancer, the Spirit Lance on a Bat Rider. Slaughter is dead. Bat Rider goes down, and the rotations are yeah, they overextend a little bit in the mid lane and, you know, they trade the IO and it sort of looked like they were almost overextending again, but I don't know, they just made it work and in the meantime, Moose just silently farming. Look at, look at him, he's pushing up the top lane, applying pressure, he's even zoning out the Lich. They're just making... Oh, oh. He's swimming, man. Z-Freak, he's gonna tether away to his brother right here. And he will be fine, limp. His brother's not nearby, he's at the bottom lane pushing out the tower right there. Global Silence though, gonna try to prevent Lim from getting killed. Z-Freak, he does have another tether up. Gonna uh, block a little bit, they turn for the kill and slaughter though. Avalanche comes out, he could not get a toss off though, finally gets a toss off. And Chuck Sven into him, God Strength activated. Chessy is rotating over though, Tiny is gonna fall, but now CCNC. He needs to be careful, Doppelganger 4, Chessy, he wants the Bat Rider though. He's a much squishier target, Flame Break pushback. It did not get the real one to push the illusion over the edge, the armor is applied though. And that is gonna be enough room for Zai. Echo Saber. But there's a couple of builds. He could even go drums first still as well. I think that could be an excellent item choice. Uh, but definitely something in that regard. I don't think you want to go aggro straight up. Because the lane. Attack speed. Ravage is ready. Expected to come out perhaps. Jane Frost, the global science is used. Frost bounced it around. It's eventually going to stop though. Ravage, uh, if, you, if they need this kill for it now, they're not going to use it. The toss is more than enough damage. In the back lines though, Batwater is here. Moo is charging in. Sven, he's going to get caught. The gush comes out on him actually. Avalanche on top of that. He's just holding on the Ravage. They don't need it. They're able to catch up to them. Double kill coming out for Lip now. And Zai on that Batwater is just going to fire flight away. Meanwhile, back to the middle lane. Slaughter, he may have got a little bit too curious for another fight coming up. Yeah, it's actually really smart. Like the longer you don't use the ravage, the it's it's one of those silly things, right? The the fear of the ravage is bigger than the ravage itself. You know? It's one of those things that ooh, that's a nice solo kill for Chessie. What was that? That was down here. Yeah. Take team fights against this because the ravage is still gonna be there, right? If the ravage wasn't there, they could maybe smoke gang and try to force a fight. Oh, nice dragon tail stun, but I don't think it's gonna matter in the long run. And CCNC is gonna be picked up here. They're just moving as a team now. Him to oh, go and there's a link lasso. He has Ravage. Does he maybe use it here to try to run? No. God, he's so tanky. This is five freaking heroes. Takes him like 10 seconds to kill him. You know? In fact, being finished. Phantom Lancer. Definitely another hero that could also go in Manta style. Currently has his Diffusal finish, though. And of course, that's big. Bottom lane, Kyle. 
Don't know if he's living through this one. OTP's coming in to simply and accept death. It, it takes a little bit, but eventually you take him out. So again, the blink initiation. Doing a work there. Tidehunter is bottom and actually is just about level 12. Horse up. It, 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 is that something that Complexity should be thinking about coming up here? Because again, they, they've been spending a lot of time on this whole that middle lane. We're going to see initiation. Slaughter goes into the back. They didn't really hit anybody, though, I believe. And he just jumps into instant death right there. And they also get Batrider on top of that. The song comes out from my own. Guess where he's porting? Over here. Now that Ravage, again, ready to go, but probably won't need it. Gush used on his fan. He's just, he's just swimming on him now. Literally swimming on top of him. Avalanche coming out after the kill anyways. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know. I think they're just playing very well around the map. And they have great wards. They know that Misery's here. <laughs> They saw him sneak up here. The avalanche didn't even hit, but they're still gonna, well, maybe not get the skill. Chain Frost comes out. It bounces back a couple of times, but a great spread ultimately by complexity. Minimal bounces. Z Freak does get credit for the kill on a misery. I believe that was an earned kill. Good there. Kyle, they're gonna jump onto him though, but Tiny, he's ready to go back in with the combo. Not gonna go into that case though. Io, he wants to save his Io teammate though. Z Freak, Ted is up with Limp. Here comes the Ravage. Moves like, remember this ability, bitches. Pycat, he's melting away as Phantom Lancer sitting on top of him and eventually will go down. CCC in the other dragon form. It's not gonna be tanky enough. Limp eventually pounds him down with the assistance of Chessie. In fact, Chessie gets the triple. Look at Slaughter, he's trying to find somebody. Meanwhile, the top tier three is being pressured now and Batrider comes back in, but that might be it for the cost of his life here. In fact, it absolutely is. Limp is now on a dominating streak and actually he gets relocated out to the bottom lane. Now Chessie has to survive, but back to the bottom lane. Toss used on a Misery right here. No Ravage just yet for Tidehunter, so Misery keeping his distance. Gush up in a second though, there we go. He missed the crutch on a Tidehunter, did hit Limp. I don't think Misery's ultimately escaped though. I mean, he does have the sprint pretty damn fast with it. Activated pops a shrine as well. Back at the top lane, meanwhile, Z Freak and Chessy both go down. They just don't want to give them those pickups. No, they don't want to give them the opening. And Axe Tiny, it is ridiculous for beating down towers. Now, again, they do have the Lich. Nine armor on the building. It is maxed out here, so it's not going to drop as fast as it maybe usually does. He also doesn't have that Echo Saver that we see a fair amount of times on Tiny, so. Again, this building is surviving quite a bit, but they, they are going to get the tier 3 at this rate. They have, they're holding on to the Ravage, of course, so the last thing you want to do is for the Dyer's just commit to a big fight, only to get huge Ravage done and completely a turn. So the top tier 3 will go down. Rax, what about that now? Tight end, they're going to jump on him. Is that really the best choice? They'll limp. He chucks in the Ghost Ring. Beat Kimmy's fan. The Ravage goes up. Pie Candy's looking for the target. He's finding all the illusions. He can't find the real one, though. And now he's dying himself. He gets a couple of hits on the real Phantom Lancer. Not going to be enough. The Global Science on top of that chain frost is going to bounce around. Do a fair amount of damage as well to slow them down. Look at the spread, though, from Complexity. In the mid fight, they do a pretty good job of it, but Phantom Lancer's getting low. But Moo comes in to save that day right here. Guardian Crease in five more seconds. They're getting kills, so they don't even need to save Chessie. He's fine. Just goes back to the racks and gonna beat it down. There's a couple of buybacks though as Limp will take out Misery and force him to buy back for half. The Flame Rake push back. They do not get the racks but they don't get any hero kills on the well, side of the Dire this. and they're not even done. Yeah, they have the hot Guardian group so they're all pretty much I mean, Chessie, look, he's full HP again. Wisp, Guardian <laughs> Grease, oh, this is fantastic. So, they just take racks and I, I it's, uh, it's something that as a spectator you kind of have to remind yourself too. For him, he doesn't necessarily see which one's the real one. He kind of just has to do educated guesses there. So, bottom lane. Oh, well, they found the real one. Gets outburst. No, that's. It's, I'm not going to say it's impossible, but it's very difficult. And, well, with the Aegis complexity, they're going to push again. Look at that positioning from Moo, by the way. Again, Ravage, of course, is ready to go in the back lens. Lasso, they caught Science. There's no global science. They want to they want to blow him up. BKB goes off the Ghost Ring. Can they blow him up in time? The stone on top of the Glimmer Cave's not going to save him, but the teammates are dying around him. CCNC will fall. They did pick up Phantom Lancer in the midst of that cleave. They'll limp. Now he's just trying to go for the Mather Rex. He says, get off me, bro. I want to kill your buildings, Moo. He's, of course, still fine to go. Full life. Here comes Io, by the way. Bought back, relocates in even, and helps to secure the kill. Honest Ven, a triple kill for Limp, and GG, well played, is called. Just like that, it feels like complexity is going to take game number one here in this best of three. Absolutely dominating performance. Complexity winning pretty much all three lanes and then from going there, just not giving Dyer any opportunities, any open.